Welcome to Pirate News. I'm Elizabeth Reddy. And I'm Nicole Slenerton. In today's newscast, we will discuss community development, the men's soccer team, and your five-day forecast. A new form of malware has infected several computers on campus. This new threat is called CryptoLocker and is considered very serious. This new form of malware attempts to encrypt the data on your hard drive as well as other shared drives. The malware is spread via email that may appear to come from a legitimate source, such as a bank, IT services, or even someone you know. Please report any suspicious emails immediately to the Technology Service Desk at 973-275-2222 or via email at servicedesk at shu.edu. If you have any doubts at all about an email, contact the Service Desk. They can help you determine if the email is legitimate or spreading malware. You asked and they listened. In response to demand from the students, the university will be offering a shuttle from campus to Newark Airport on November 26th at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and 4 p.m. for $22.09. These times are not convenient for you. Please consult the list available on the shuttle ticket site for other available transportation. Tickets can be purchased online at shoeshuttlethanksgiving2013.eventbrite.com. Contact the Dean of Students office at 973-761-9076 for more information. SAB is calling all of Seton Hall's finest and brightest pirate detectives to come enjoy a night of solving mind-boggling interactive mysteries. Shulock Holmes is a murder mystery game in which students will solve various mysteries. The event will be held tonight at 7.30 in the University Center Main Lounge. Be sure to come out to this mysterious event. For more information, contact Anthony Marcus at 908-878-8146. There will be a critical reading workshop sponsored by the Academic Resource Center held today from 1 to 9 p.m. in Arts and Sciences, room 208A. Professor Sally Stamper will facilitate this hands-on workshop to review general approaches that you can apply to many texts. You will have the opportunity to practice critical reading on texts you bring from your major or another class. Contact Monica Burnett through email or at 973-761-9487. And now we'll head over to Vincent with the latest in Seton Hall sports. Vincent? Thanks, Liz. Hello, Pirates. Vincent Coughlin here with your latest in Seton Hall sports. Over the weekend, the men's soccer team was in action against the 18th-ranked Golden Eagles of Marquette in their final away game of the season. The Pirates held the Golden Eagles to one goal in the first half to keep the game within reach. In the 46 minutes, senior Max Garcia came through for the Pirates and tied the game at one. Unfortunately, Marquette avoided the upset scare from the Pirates as redshirt sophomore C. Norty scored in the 80th minute. The Pirates now head home for their final game of the season against St. John's on Friday at 3 p.m. The men's cross-country team was also in action this weekend at the Big East Championships. As a team, they finished ninth in the conference with 253 points, while Villanova came away with the team title. But the underclassmen really shined this year, for the future, showing a bright sign for the future. For Victor Ritchie and Cameron Quisberry were the first two Pirates to finish the 8K, finishing 45th and 58th respectively. Finishing just behind Quinsbury was sophomore Ryan Flannery, who finished in the top three during the Big East Championships for the Pirates for the second year in a row. The team is not done yet, though, as they will head to the Mid-Atlantic Regional next week. Looking ahead to this weekend, it's basketball season at the Hall, as both the men's and women's team will be in action, with the women tipping things off on Friday at 7 p.m. against Longwood at Walsh Gym. Then on Saturday, the men will start their season at the Prudential Center against Niagara as part of the Coaches vs. Cancer Tournament. There's more basketball on Sunday, though, when the women return to action to face off against Ryder at 2 p.m. Be sure to come out strong and support the Pirates this weekend. That's all for Pirate Sports. I'm Vince Coughlin. Now back to Elizabeth and Nicole with more of the news that you need to know. Thanks, Vince. Interested in learning more about everyday technology? The Teaching, Learning, and Technology Center is sponsoring Student Tech Tips in Minutes. The program will be held on November 11th from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. in the computer chain room of the Walsh Library. The session will cover tips and tricks to making technology work for you, such as discovering better ways to take notes and creating unique presentations. For more information, contact Bill Otsky through email or at 973-275-2161. The Stillman School of Business is proud to offer MBA and MS programs that allow students to earn both their undergraduate and graduate degrees in just five years. The joint degree program gives students the choice of earning a degree in either business or arts and science, while also beginning graduate coursework for an MBA or MS in professional accounting. For more information, contact Catherine Bianchi at 973-761-9262. 
And now we'll head over to Nancy with your five-day forecast. Nancy? Thanks, Nicole. And hello, Pirates. We're heading into pretty chilly weather this weekend. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 53 and a low of 33. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 50 and a low of 37. Sunday will have strong winds with a high of 58 and a low of 34. Monday will be sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 36. Tuesday will be most, mostly sunny with a high of 44 and a low of 33. That's all for your five-day forecast. Make sure to layer up and have a good weekend, Pirates. Now back to Nicole and Elizabeth with more of your upcoming events. Come and see Microsoft's new Windows 8 at, my, at Windows 8 Experience on November 15th. In the computer training classroom of the library from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., there will be discussion of the key elements of Windows 8 and tips and tricks to get the most out of this new software. Bring your Windows 8 PC or work on the lab's computers to follow along. The event is open to all students. To register for this event, contact Bill Otsky at bill.otsky at shu.edu. A business ethics seminar will be held next week with Tom Joyce, the former CEO of Knight Capital Group. Join Tom Joyce on November 12th at 8 a.m. in the Chancellor Suite as he discusses how to make leadership decisions as a CEO and how his values affected his decisions. Learn more about maintaining value-driven relationships in the age of technology by coming out to this great event. The event is open to all students and faculty. Contact Lee Onimus at 973-313-6058 for more information. Pulitzer Prize-winning poet Tracy K. Smith will read from her work on November 12th at 7 p.m. in the Chancellor's Suite of the University Center. Smith is the author of three books of poetry, and her most recent collection, Life on Mars, won her the 2012 Pulitzer Prize for Poetry and was selected for the New York Times Notable Book. She currently teaches creative writing at Princeton. For more information on this great event, contact Nathan Oates at 374-351-8828. Associate Professor at Rutgers School of Nursing, Joyce Height, will be speaking on Monday, November 11th from 5 to 7 p.m. in Room 109 of Arts and Sciences. Her presentation will be about maternal infant care in developing countries, as well as a building on experiences in post-earthquake Haiti. The event is sponsored by the College of Nursing Sigma Theta Tau International. All are welcome to attend. Please contact Pamela Galehouse at 973-761-9000 for more information. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Nicole Slonerton. And I'm Elizabeth Reddy. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.